Spider-Verse! Every once in a while, do we take a trip down memory lane, and when Providence is hunting down an evil mob boss named Quarry, Rex decides to go undercover when he stumbles into some old friends, Tuck, Cricket, and Squid. It turns out they work for Quarry, and not only did Rex used to be their boss, but he was Quarry's lieutenant. Now Rex must put a stop to Quarry's crimes in order to save his old friends. But my god, this was a long-awaited episode. Back when this show aired on Cartoon Network, many of us fans have wondered what Rex's past was like. And in this episode, we finally got some answers. The whole episode is not just focused on his past, but Rex proving to his friends that he's changed and that so can they. It turns out that they only continue to work for Corey because young Rex handed his crew over to him. Because of this revelation, this sends Rex after Corey to fight for what's right versus the wrongs he's made in the past. Besides that, I like that Rex wasn't trying to fix his mistake with the group, but he rather gave them the choice of whether to stay or leave him behind. It's a really great character moment and it proves how far Rex has come, especially in comparison to his younger self. We also learned that Rex's memory losses are a recurring thing, and that there's a good chance it may happen again. I like that they introduced the journal, and not just for the sake of moving the story forward, but so that Rex can also keep this in handy for future episodes. This was a really excellent character-driven episode, and I even like Cory more than I like No-Face. Cory reminds me of an anime mob boss, and I like how menacing he is while keeping calm for a majority of the time. Jenner and Rex keeps on winning with their villain roster. Now to talk about the episode from an artistic direction, I think this is the best we've had in the series so far. The glowing lights and dark skies and even moments where we just embrace the city without having to rely on something to move things forward. The atmosphere in Hong Kong, especially at night, really captured the unique setting compared to other cities we've seen in the show. Also fun fact, the storyboard art and background designs are inspired by real life locations in Hong Kong. You can thank literally me from Discord for providing that additional information. They also own a GenerateRx Discord server, which I'll put in the description below. And the action scene in the climax was pretty badass. When Rex storms Corey's face to put a stop to his crimes, we got to see Rex smack his henchmen around all in one shot without the scene having to shoot from another angle. That's something you don't see in a lot of action shows anymore. And the fight against Corey was also pretty clever, seeing as Rex's big fat sword wasn't enough to put a stop to him. I even appreciate Tough Crick and Squid lending an assist. The music was good too, but the intro song this week played numerous times throughout the episode, but I believe it was used best during the fight against Quarry. The lyrics managed to drop another symbolic message, this time surrounding Rex, his friends, and Quarry, and I thought this was clever, only my minor nitpick is how they cut off a huge part from the chorus to blend with the theme of the story, but it doesn't change anything from what the song was about. I just thought it was unnecessary. But that won't stop me from giving this episode a high score. We give Rabble a 10 out of 10. Thank you, Rex. Don't forget about us, okay? That may be a promise I can't keep.